Hey everybody, it's Digging again. Back with another beard product review. And today we're going to talk about Fable Beard Co. Now we're going to talk about the prices, the ingredients, the filling beard, maybe any recommendations if I have any. And let's go get the website to do that. And after that, we're going to talk about the filling beard. And here we go. So here is his main web page. Now all you do is go up here to the, the tap to shop up here in the very top. And it brings down a list of uh, way sell so yeah beard oil bomb butter wash conditioner uh deodorant colognes uh three and one beard growth elixir i uh, never looked at that so i'm not sure what that is but they got some combo kits the legend series and of course you can get gift cards for a bearded friend if you want to now one thing i do like here is he's got a shot by scent page so I think that's pretty cool. You know, a lot of my reviews, I recommend that to the to the company to put a scent page. So people can shop by the scent. They don't have to go to each individual, click on each individual one to find out the scent profile. So all you do is click on one page and go through them all to see what you like. So I think that's a really good idea. Let's go ahead and get into this review. Uh, I got a beard oil and beard butter. So let's first talk about the beard oil. All right, so let's just go ahead and click on one of these. Uh, I'll talk about the scent. I'm not going to pick up the scent I got because it was a clearance scent. And I'll tell you why I got that clearance scent uh, when it comes to the fill and beard. So we're just going to click on the uh, distiller here. And as you can see, it is $17.99 for a one ounce bottle. And of course, they actually have a drop down here, which only comes at one ounce bottle. So I'm not sure why there's even a drop down there. We're gonna scroll down and as you see, I don't see any ingredients on this page. Let's go back. Actually, I already knew that there wasn't ingredients on that page and there's no ingredients listed here on the hero. But if you go to Dr. Wolf and you scroll down, there are the ingredients here. So you might want to check out each, uh, each of your oils there because some of them do not have the ingredients listed. Anyway, let's talk about these ingredients that are right above my head. It's castor, coconut, sweet almond, argan, jojoba, and the skin safe fragrance oils. Now, one thing I would do want to notate is the ingredients list on the bottle is not the same order that is on the website. So really, I think we should be listing the ingredients in the verse of strength. So unless these are all exactly the same percentages, um, you know, this, it's not listed in order. So if it's, it's the same, if each one has the same percentages, I mean, that's fine. But if there are different percentages, we should be listening to the, uh, the uh, it by uh, the strength of the uh, the uh, percentages. So I'm not sure which one's right, either the website or the or the uh, the bottle. All right, let's go back to the uh, let's go to the beard butter page and let's click on one of these. Let's click on the distiller again and. It is uh, $24.99 for a four ounce tub. It's got a little drop down arrow. arrow. Now it has a little drop down. I only can't see it on the recording here, but all it shows is a four ounce tube selection on the drop down. So again, not sure why this is up as a drop down. But we're going to scroll down here and find the ingredients. And here they are. We have cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter, cucumber butter, lippy butter, and beeswax. And again, the order that's listed on the website is not the same order that is on the container. All right, so those are the prices and ingredients. Now let's go ahead and get into the uh, fill and beard. Now, like I said before, I picked a, a clearance scent as one of the Christmas scents that is going away. And I did that for a reason because actually a couple of years ago, I did actually try a fable. A beard cover four and my beard was much longer it was like almost 10 10 and a half inches long and unfortunately the the, the products that didn't really work that great in my beard i mean i was going to say it made a little bit below average when i had that longer beard and we went in for i'm talking, not this, we're talking about the still about the past when the oil did a great job on you know keep my skin hydrated and and moisture and everything part of the beard is but on the beard hair itself so I mean, so I technically did all the good job on its purpose because that's what beard oil is for, is for the skin. So did a good job on that part, uh, purpose. But when it came for, uh, for the beard oil in my hair, I mean, this often up there, but not really as great as a lot of some other products out there. So I'm gonna, it's, it's really kind of a blow average feel to me. And same with the beard butter. I mean, it's often at first, but throughout the day, it kind of just felt um, just 
kind of average, you know, a little bit below average. But then I cut, you know, since I trimmed my beard, you know, a few months ago, and I actually turned it in getting even more recently, I decided to uh, try it again. But I did hear from a couple guys in the past that, you know, they've had different effects in their beard depending on the length. You know, it, it, it was great at one length and it was didn't work out as well with the, with the other length. So I figured, well, let me try it out and see if it might work for me. So that's why I bought a uh, one on clearance because I didn't want to buy a full price and it's still not work for me. So let's talk about what it felt like in my shorter beard. I'm going to say once again, it is more like an average feel to me. I think it did feel a little bit better, but overall, just really kind of just average plain Jane feel uh, from the beard. So uh, that's all I have to say. But like again, the oil still did a great job of keeping my skin hydrated and moisturized and all that. But both the beard oil and beard butter just did not really wow me when it came to the filling beard. All right, so that's that was my thoughts. So again, we got the uh, one ounce oil for $17.99 and the uh, I guess the four ounce tub for uh, $24.99. So those are the products. And I know he has a, a pop-up that comes up every now and then. It didn't pop up when I was on the website, but he has a little spinny wheel that pops up and have a chance to win 25% uh, off, 30% off, or even a year supply of beard products. It was pretty cool. And he also does uh, like giveaways. There's, I had a pop-up uh, earlier that popped up saying, you know, they do give away like one uh, beard, I think it's beard combo every day. Then they have another thing that's like, uh, you know, once a week. Then they have a grand prize of a mystery box. I think it's a mystery box of $500 worth of products. So it's pretty cool doing all that giveaways. But anyway, let me know your thoughts about Fable Beard Company. Have you tried them? What do you think of them? Do you like them? Do you don't, do you don't, don't like them? Uh, let me know your, your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, keep, keep your, your business, business touch healthy. Until the next video. video.